everybody, it's race week, and you know what that means? Another Gotta Run Racing briefing. Hey everyone, it's Rainbow Trail Run 2023, this Saturday, July 29th at Earl Row Provincial Park in Alliston. We're excited to see everyone. There is an email version of this as well that if you're registered, check your inboxes so you can either read or listen or watch. Yep. Prefer, right. to, prefer, prefer to watch. Prefer to watch. <laughs> yeah, let's get our YouTube uh, viewership up. <laughs> Subscribe. Yeah. Bib pickup will be available at the race site beginning at 6.15 a.m. And it'll continue until 8.55 a.m. And what will you be getting at bib pickup? Your bib? which I don't have a copy of it here. It's at the timers. Um, please make sure you wear that front and center because it is chipped and it's better that we can identify you at all times. You're also going to get our sweet hat. That you guys voted for. That's right. You guys <laughs> selected this color combination. Okay. And on the back it says Rainbow Trail Run. So you'll be getting one of those. And what else are they getting? Well, I'm definitely going to be checking this out after the race absolutely mono center brewing a free beer everyone gets one you got to go down there and get it <laughs> <laughs> and it's valid until the middle of october so if you can't go after the race you can go up till then and mono center brewing is only 20 minutes south of the park that's right so if you're heading home stop by absolutely and everyone's also getting a kinesis sample sunscreen thank you kinesis they're a Canadian brand, and they're great for sports because they don't sweat off. So you'll definitely be using this on Saturday morning because it looks like it's going to be a hot one again. A hot one again. Cool. All right. We'll also be selling our socks from a previous year. Okay, we have a few, um, few of those left, two different sizes, and they're 15 bucks. And we're going to also be selling our flasks, which I'll cover over in a little bit more detail when we get to the cupless section. But they're also 15 and you can pay credit or cash, no debit. You can do e-transfer as well. Okay? Got it. All right. So race day timeline. The eight loopers begin at seven, four loopers at eight, and the one and two loop at nine. We have a 24-hour cutoff this year for the eight loops. And we're going to have a barbecue with sausages. Uh, we're going to have a vegan sausage as well. Um, and that'll start around 1030. And it'll continue throughout the day for all the people that are finishing later on. Okay. Uh, awards. Top three male, female in each distance will be presented with a got our own racing item. This year we've got some new product that you guys haven't seen yet. Yep. And that's going to be awarded to our winners. And we'll be doing those awards once we have the results. the results in each category. So you don't have to stick around and wait too long. We'll get through those as much as we can. And like I said, your bib is chip timed. Awards based on overall finish time. So please wear it on the front of your shorts or shirt. Parking. Your race fee covers entry into the park for one vehicle. Additional spectators coming in separate vehicles will be charged to enter. Um, the park attendant will be asking to see proof of your race entry. So please have the email that has the big green P with this information ready on your phone. You could print it out. You could show it on your phone. Okay, show it to them because we are we have to keep track of cars because we have to keep track of cars. We have to keep track of cars. <laughs> and then follow race parking signs to the designated area to park, which is quite close to the start finish line. Right. Yep. Okay. The course. Here we go. Newsflash. Yeah, whoever ran it last year and was presented with this hill at the 2K mark, well, now you're going to see it at 10K because we're going in reverse. That's right. That's right. Yes, we're going <laughs> counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. And like, what, what, what? <laughs> That's right. Why not? Why not? We'll see what happens. So, yeah. So, those who have not been there last year... You won't know the difference. But those who have, <laughs> think, what is this? <laughs> yeah. Yep. And how are the how are the trails marked, Norm? Everything orange. Orange. Think orange, because nothing rhymes with orange. <laughs> Direction signs everywhere can't get lost. 
don't get lost. If you happen to see one of these, stop and say, hey, whoa, wait a minute. Turn around. Ah, there it is. Very simple. And I believe there's two... Three. Three road crossings? Yes. Not like a major highway. No. It's the very, it's the road inside the park. 20 kilometer, 30 kilometer an hour you can drive there. Yes, yes. And you may not even see a car. <laughs> but look both ways. Please, it's on you guys to do your due diligence <laughs> and make sure it's safe to cross. That's right. Okay? Very simple. All right. Um, in here, in-ear headphones are strongly discouraged because the park's not closed. It's a busy park. There's going to be dog walkers. There's going to be people on bikes. There's going to be little kids. So it's on you to be aware of your surroundings at all time. And if a runner wants to pass you, hopefully they're calling out, passing on your left, so you hear them and you stay right. Mm -hmm. That being said, bone conduction he headphones are fine. And if you really, really, really want to listen to your music, one ear, right ear, works fine too. Just as long as you can hear from one side. All right? Yep. Headlamps. <laughs> I don't think you need them for the morning. No. But for our eight loopers, if you plan to go past 9 p.m., you're definitely going to need your headlamp. Okay? Ah, uh, yes, coupless. So, we are trying to spread the word to stop using paper cups at races because it's unnecessary, it adds to landfill, and we can all do our part for the environment. But every year, somebody shows up without a cup. Yep. So, guys, please bring something to fill at the aid stations. Okay? It can be a little flask. It can be a disposable cup. We're selling these guys for $15. You can take the lid off, roll it up, stick it in your shorts, whatever. Okay, really convenient. And it helps us cut down on cups. Otherwise, we're just going to pour it in your hand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there will be water and scratch electrolytes at the start line, which also has a dedicated aid station for the multi-loopers and as well on the course the course aid station is about halfway yep and we will have water scratch we will have lots of ice if you need ice feel, feel free to ask the volunteers and then we're going to have lots of fruity salty and sweet snacks especially for those two four and eight loopers who are going to need some wow. nutrition sign me up and we're going to try to <laughs> keep adding new uh new snacks as the day goes on in case you guys get tired of it okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. multi loopers if you'd like to set up a shelter no larger than 10 by 10 feet at the start finish to access when you finish a loop please ask us where you can set that up um last plenty year, of room though. there's plenty. plenty of room on the grass yep. and we strongly recommend that everyone stays on the left side if you're facing the exit yeah. because the porta potties are going to be on the right <laughs> and you don't want to be downwind of those right yep okay along the tree line along the tree line exactly uh, okay so kyle from ultra running was going to be on hand with some demo shoes that you can try on and you can even run a loop with oh. so that's cool so be sure to visit him if you don't know anything about ultra they're a fantastic shoe zero drop wide toe box which we love mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, and if you want to buy a pair after the race, we have a retail partner, Running Free, is giving everyone a 20% off coupon, which is included in the email that version of this. So you can use that to buy your ultras after the race. We also have Ryan and Kathy from Kratos Health. They'll be on hand at a booth showcasing their braces and compression line, and they're actually going to be selling some exact nutrition products. Nice. So thank you to them. And we also have two pairs of really sweet <laughs> sunglasses, thanks to Georgian Bay and New Tecumseh Optometry Clinics that we'll be drawing for. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the draw while everyone's running, and then we'll announce it when the winner comes in, because the winner could be a 12 looper or a, a 12 k or rather, or a 96 k right. So we'll do the draw. It's going to be one guy, one girl. Okay. And as soon as they cross, hey, you also won this. That's right. What? What else do they get at the finish line, Norm? Beer? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, our sweet little medal. There we go. There you go. 
And a nice spin to it too, right? Yeah, and it matches the hat. Check that's, it out. That's the idea. So whenever you go out to parties, you have to wear both. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. No, that's not it. Oh. We also have a podcast. Yes, we do. And every runner has a story. So if you'd like to hear about ultra running to the front of the pack, the mid pack, or back of the pack, we check us out. We talk to them all. Yeah, we talk to them all. And we've got 85 episodes? 85 episodes, yeah. going strong. So why don't you download some and listen to them while you're running on the weekend? And <laughs> we love newbies, people who've never been on a podcast before. Yes, we do. And it's funny how we talk to some people who won races and never been on a podcast before. <laughs> they waited for us. And how do they find them? Gotta Run Racing. All right. Or Gotta Run Podcast on our website or wherever you download your favorite podcasts. <laughs> well, I think that's it for now. Uh, we'd like to encourage you guys to be safe out there, have a fun day, thank our amazing volunteers because without them, there's no race. And who's staying overnight? Does anybody, I don't know if anybody's staying overnight. If anyone's camping? Yeah. I don't know. We had a couple campers last year, but hopefully... Well, hey, if you see me mark the course, come and say hello. And if you have a campsite and we can go crash <laughs> at it during the day when we need a nap, <laughs> or you have bacon, yeah, let bacon. us know. <laughs> Sweet. We like bacon. Yep. All right, guys. We'll see you Saturday. Cheers. <laughs>